Hey everybody and welcome back to the channel. For those of you who don't already know us, this is Maya. I'm her person Kayla and today we're doing another toy review. So let's get started. There's a lot to love about Nina Otteson's Dog Brick Puzzle. While it's likely not for beginners, it isn't overly difficult either. There are several different techniques that your dog uses to find the food within this puzzle. They can pick up and remove the white bones, slide the red containers to find treats underneath, and flip the lids open for even more goodies inside. One of the more challenging aspects of this puzzle for Maya is that in order to get to some of the compartments, the different features of this toy have to be in certain positions. For example, in order to get to the treats underneath one of the red containers, the corresponding white bone has to be removed and the lid of that particular container must be closed. So there's a lot of problem solving that goes on when she interacts with this toy much more so than any of the other treat dispensing toys she currently has. Because the dog brick puzzle is made of hard plastic and is easy to clean, you can use any dog safe food, including wet foods. So you can make this a special treat for your pet, use it regularly to feed your dog their meals, or you can change it up every time. There are other ways to be variable too. For example, instead of putting food in each available pocket, you can skip every other, or only put treats beneath the red containers, or only inside of them, and so on. Being variable with this toy will keep your dog interested longer. I really do enjoy watching Maya solve this puzzle, but it isn't for every dog. Perhaps its biggest problem is its lack of durability. I've noticed when Maya solves this puzzle, the red lids often snap off, despite the fact that she's not usually an aggressive chewer. As far as maintenance is concerned, you don't have to worry, as they snap back on relatively easily. But as far as safety is concerned, this may not be the best activity for particularly destructive dogs, because the snapped lids could become a hazard. So no matter your dog's style of play, for their safety, make sure you always supervise them while they interact with this puzzle. Even so, with that flaw, this puzzle has quickly become one of Maya's favorites, so hopefully it will be around for a very long time. So while this toy started off a little bit complicated for Maya, it's the perfect level of challenging now. So if you're thinking about adding it to your dog's collection, I'm going to leave a link in the description box for you. If you have a suggestion for what toy or puzzle we should review next time, just leave us a comment below. We'll be happy to take your suggestions. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. And if you want to see more content like this, just hit subscribe and ring the bell so you receive notifications every single time we post a new video. In the meantime, we hope you guys had fun with this one and pass it on.